Hello and welcome to the Miscast Table. My name is Mons. My name is Jonas. And today we have a good game of hopefully a good game. <laughs> yeah, we're not sure if it's a good game yet, but uh, yeah. we, we hope that it will be. And we're playing Warhammer Underworlds once again, playing the Nemesis format. Yeah. It's uh, like people seem to be enjoying it, and I have to say that I do as well. Yeah, I have to say I enjoy uh, Nemesis as well. And, and one big part of that is the deck building. Like, we play a lot of different warbands, a lot of different games, and having to, to rebuild like a championship deck from scratch, like every time, takes quite a lot of time. If you play like the same warband over and over and just make small changes, I think, I think that's a non issue. But for, for me personally, I like that it. It's way easier to just put together a deck and play a game. Yeah, and we kind of like having some variety, so we mix and build from the different rival decks that are out there, and some of them are quite good actually. I think that they've gotten a good improvement overall. I, I really enjoy this new Fearsome Fortress. Yeah, I think, I think it's great. superb. Yeah, I like. think they're great. Uh, so I'm playing that tonight. I'm yeah. playing Fairsome <laughs> Fortress together with the Loon Court. It's it's noble knights against noble knights here tonight. It's yes. uh, the Loon Court against the Sons of Wellmore, and uh, I'm using the Daring Delvers. So I'm gonna be exploring the depths of Norwood. Yeah, with your band of, of brothers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think that that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, we did some some or at least one misplay at least with the with the Loon Court last time. I used this shooting guy. Yeah, uh, uh, many times over. Uh, Skolko and Pronk. Yeah. Uh, but he's kind of weirdly worded. I, I think they use just give the keywords so you can use it, use it once per uh, run and mm -hmm. then just have him have four range instead. Yeah, I, I think, think so. It's, it's a, bit, a bit weird, that, yeah. that, I suppose. Uh, but I think this is going to be, be a fun matchup. I'm feeling quite quite confident with my, my Noble Knights. Uh, yeah, so uh, the leaders are going to be really important. Like, my guy gives that command ability and your guys can dub and improve your knights. Yeah, he yeah. can make new knights. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's gonna be like a, a contest to see which one, uh, which can take the other one's uh, main hound show out first. Yeah, I think the leaders need to be protected this game, so... I'm gonna send the, the gobble, gob squad in. <laughs> uh, but yeah. should we get into the, to the game? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's make some rolls. Make a roll up. And then we make a roll up. Yep. I get one additional crit. I don't get uh, much. I have one, one, one. Yeah. Let's see if we can beat that. I one, 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 one. one. Okay. So we have a reroll on our hands. Uh, and this one isn't still clarified. I think that we as we usually as make it so that uh, neither the, the crit you get from deploying first doesn't count when you make the yeah. high roll. But uh, I don't think yeah. you'll need it. <laughs> um, okay. No, you won't need it. I won't need it. And I kind of want to go first, I think. Alright. I want to be the aggressor. I think I'm gonna be brave, I'm gonna be aggressive, <laughs> I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna win this game. And the question is only for me to choose, do I kill uh, Skolko and Pronk or do I kill uh, the wonky lands first? I you really wonky. dislike the wonky lands. He's amazing. I really dislike him. So I'm gonna make a charge attack action over here. With leader? With leader. And I'm rolling two dice, looking for hammers with Grievous 1. Yep. 
one hammer. One hammer. And I have a defensive roll with those guys. They have one defensive. And I get a success. Okay, so you do get it. You can push me back if you would like. Because you just get supporting attacks against my leader otherwise. And you probably want that. So I'm gonna push you over here. Yeah. I'm gonna push me over there. Yeah. And as a reaction, I get to give myself a command counter. Now I count as... Uh, that's supporting all of my other fighters. Yeah. I want to play Bold Pylon. Choose up the two friendly fighters, put each chosen fighter up to two hexes, so they are adjacent to the same enemy fighter. And I'm gonna push these two guys, so they are adjacent to okay. King, uh, King Velmorn. Do you want to do anything else? No. Not at the moment. Uh, I want to play uh, Run and Down. I want to give a quest to one, one of our guys. Run and Down. Score this immediately after a fighter's successful attack action. That was part of a charge action. And I'm going to give that to Grib. The oh, Wonky Lance. The Wonky Lance coming in. Uh, but he can't kill me at one go at least. Uh, I suppose that he cannot. Yeah. So I'm going to use my first turn to make an attack action. Sure. With Grim the Wonky Lance. Yeah. And I'm gonna use. Yeah, I'm gonna use Squig Horn because then I can use Impact and deal 3 damage. But I'm still rolling 2 dice. So looking for hammers. Get Two crits. Off. Dirty, dirty. Yes. Uh, and you get the hammer as well. Yes, hammer crit. Okay, so then I can succeed. Yeah. Um, so so he's dealt 3 damage. damage. Yeah. Why do you have so so like lucky rolls all the time? <laughs> I don't know. Like, insanely uh, lucky rolls. Uh, I do get to score my quest. Uh, yeah. Round down. Score this meal after the fighter's successful attack action is made for charge action for one. And when he completes his quest, he also inspires. And now he has better evasive rolls. And yeah. Damage. He he gets a little bit better on the the evasive side. I think I am. Giving downtrodden squire to Grim. And it does. Uh... A reaction of this fighter's move action, choose one friendly fighter that was adjacent to this fighter at the start of that action. Uh, push that fighter the shortest distance so it's adjacent to this fighter. Okay, so he, he grabs onto. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna make another short action. I'm gonna need to kill. Uh... Some of your guys, and unfortunately, I can't really make this the way I want, so I'm gonna make it the best way I can. I'm gonna go over here. Or should I? Should I just go over here? Yeah, just run through and then try to attack. Uh, what's his name? The small dude. Yeah. His name is Pointy Burke. Pointy Burke, and I'm rolling two dice looking for Fury. Uh, I get one, one support. And he only has one defensive, looking for shield. He gets a shield. Uh, so I'm gonna put you in the pit. Uh, yeah, so he takes one damage, pointy Burke. Which almost kills him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but not... not uh, it isn't enough still. Not quite. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make a charge action with Snorbo. Uh, so he's gonna charge over here. And he's gonna hit against your leader. Okay. And he is rolling three dice, looking for uh, uh, his swords. What are they yeah. called? Pure. Pure. <laughs> yeah, Pure. that's right. <laughs> uh, he gets mm, all One successes. Su no, only. No, no, right. It's double, but it's okay. no critical successes. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna die. I have one dice and need crit. I don't get it. I'm taken out of action. So he is. He is dead. Uh, I think I'm gonna make a charge action over here. Uh, I am gonna use Martial Falk. I am rolling two dice, looking for Curie. Yep. Uh, get nothing. Get nothing. That seems to be on course with, the, <laughs> with this game. I could technically shoot. How much life does that guy have? He has three. All of the Grey Guards has three life. Then I think I'm probably going in with my leader here. I'm gonna make a charge action over here. Okay. And I'm hitting against the big dude. Yep. 
Uh, so we're hitting against him and he rolls two dice with his moon, sli uh, moon slicer. And I'm looking for hammers, which I get. Uh, and I have one defense I'm looking for. Get crit. Get a crit. Then I'm gonna play stab, stab, and stab again. Use this over friendly fighter activation and wish to make one or more failed attack action. That will okay. make one attack. Try action. once. Try. See if I can do better this time. Uh, I cannot because I have no supporting fighters. No. Okay. So, so nothing happens. Nothing happens. And I have one activation left. I can only get into melee with this guy. But I think that's the play still. I'm gonna make a charge action. I'm gonna try to use Helmer. I'm rolling uh, Fury. Uh, two dice. Yeah. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Then my final activation of shooting that guy. Okay. Uh, so I'm rolling two dice with uh, Slonko and Pronk. Looking for Fury. That that's, <laughs> that's not great. Okay. Uh, so that was my final activation. And uh, you had the first activation, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, I can't score anything, but I do get to make one of the uh, fighters upgraded. So I think I'm gonna give Marshall Falk uh, the sibling rivalry so that he inspires. All right. And then I am gonna discard. I'm gonna discard Praetorian, Crown Curse, Imperious Will. I'm gonna keep two. Yeah. Keeping others. All right. Uh, I'm gonna discard uh, Loom Court Conquest. And I have nothing I can score. I'm drawing one new card. Okay. And then I'm just drawing three new uh, action cards. I'm gonna make a roll up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's if you want to start, that's a pretty uh, good one. I think I want to start. Uh, yeah, you okay. can definitely start if you like. Uh, I think I should. I don't know exactly if, if I should go at your leader, however. He only has three health, that is the thing. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Two dice, looking for fury against the green Yeah. Uh, one crit. Do you have Grievous? No. Uh, you don't have Grievous, but you still did three damage. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, that is not good that enough. That is three damage to the head, and I'm gonna inspire, so general. Yeah. That takes leader out of action. Okay, That's so we, we are both mm -hmm. out of leaders. Yeah, we're out of leaders. Uh, okay. that's, that's not good at all. I'm gonna score Regal Repost. Uh, score this immediately after a friendly fights attack action that takes an enemy fighter out of action. No, no, wait, sorry. Yeah, that fighter has no charge tokens. Yep. So I get it. He does not have any charge tokens. Hmm, how much life does Sir Yedan have? He has five, five. life. He's a big dude. Yeah, he is a big dude. Yeah, I'm charging over here. Oh, hitting against that guy. He's an inspired guy. Yeah. Uh, so I'm rolling. Uh, Ton of dice. Impact. It's I have actually three dice. Doing impact to deal one extra damage. And that is one success. One success. And Marshall Falk is looking for shields. Uh, he doesn't get. So he is probably taken yeah, out of action. 3 damage. Is what he is 3 dead. damage and he is dead. That scores you a glory. Yes, and I get to score this. Uh, bold bold Sorite. Score this immediately after an activation step in which a friendly fight is charge action begin on a feature token in your territory. Yep. Shit deal. Uh, but now since my fighter is out of my leader is out of action, I can't dub anyone. Uh, <laughs> okay. So yeah. Uh, you win some, you lose some. Yeah, I guess guess that you do. I think I'm gonna give uh, Mobum to Snorbolda Spore. And it's a quest objective. Score is immediately after a supported friendly fighter successful attack action. If this fighter make uh, an attack action that supported that fighter. I should probably make a charge action with this guy. You will get additional defense, but I'm gonna try to hit uh, Skolko and Pronk in the head. Yep. Rolling two dice uh, with my great tomb blade, looking for uh, smash. One. One smash. They only have one defensive roll. They uh, get their they shield. They get their shield. But do you want to push them? I think you can go over here. I 
don't have any actions that I'm super happy with, to be honest. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm making a shooting attack with these guys onto that guy. Okay. So I'm rolling two dice, looking for fury. I get one fury. One fury, I have one defensive dice, looking for shields. I get, get one a shield. shield. Uh, at this point, I think I am pushing you away. I think you're going over there, right? Okay. I'm gonna play Gittys Resilience. Choose one friendly fighter that has a quest cord, plus one defense to that fighter. This effect persists until the end of the phase, or till you score that cord. And I am gonna give that to Slavo. Oh, okay. So he has additional defensive upgrades. Yeah. And I think I have to play this one now. I'm gonna play Grasping Root Grave. You cannot play this in the final power step of a round. Uh, at the end of the action phase, deal one damage each fight adjacent to a feature token. Yep. So we are gonna see if that one remains in play. Uh, I am gonna give Helmar the Ewer Ergon Weapons. Plus one damage. Alright. That is that guy, right? Yeah. Yep. But, yeah, I have to make a short action over here. Yep. And try to hit against uh, Gerib Inspired. Yep. Rolling two dice, looking for fury. That's a dangerous roll. Yeah, that definitely is. I don't get any successes. Okay. That is three damage. It is three damage. That means he is dead. Grim. Dead. No, Grim. <laughs> Yeah, the, that's the dubbed the, the dubbed knights out of action. Yes, yes, yes. And with that, I do get to inspire Yelmar. Yes. And I also get to score stealthy advance. Uh, score this mid last three friendly fights attack action if that fighter was in a cover hex or in elite no or on a feature token when it made that attack action, and that fighter was not in your territory when it made that attack action. Like the yeah. wordiest. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a tricky one. Then I'm making a charge action with Snorball. Going over there. there. Okay. And I'm gonna hit against that guy. Yeah. So Snorball is is hitting. And he has a trumpet. Rolling three dice. Oh, and that is a crit, one success. Uh, I have one defense, I'm gonna need that crit. Yeah, you're gonna need Probably it. not gonna get it. No. Uh, you're dealt uh, one massive damage. One damage dealt. Yeah, and I am gonna push you off that objective. I don't want you there. Okay. Uh, and then he has made his quest, Snorball. <laughs> because he immediately after a, a supporter friendly fighter successful attack action, if this fighter made that attack action or supported that fighter. Should I just make a move action? Probably. Yeah, let's go over here. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna make a charge action over there, hitting with um, who is that? It is a uh, poking snark. Yeah, and I inspire a snowball as well. Of course, he deserves for his quest. <laughs> uh, rolling two dice, looking for fury. Ooh, get crit. crit. I need crit on. No, nope. get shield. Uh, it's taken out of action. Dealt two damage. Yes. That gives you a glory. Yes. And that does. really messes up my scoring. Uh, would you like to play some cards? No. I'm gonna play some upgrades onto my guys. I'm gonna give Familiar Bond onto Thane, fourth and last. Uh, and I'm gonna inspire him as well. And then I'm gonna give Plundered Knowledge onto Sir Yedran. Yeah, I can give Star Starmo on to. Um, let's give it to, to this guy here in the back. Uh, Moonface Nags. It's an attack action. Yeah. And since you killed my guy, I can't score this card. So I'm gonna discard Morbid Majestic. It requires three of my fights to be inspired. And I can't score Bold Venture either. But I can score Survivalist. Score this in an end phase if each friendly fighter has one or more upgrades. Or is in a cover hex or on a feature token. Yeah. And I'm also gonna trigger Grasping Root Grave and deal one damage to uh, Snarbone. Yes, Snarbone takes one damage. I'm gonna discard Deadly Maneuver and go 5 new and 3 new. Yeah, I am gonna score 
uh, Conquer Domain. Score this in the end phase is a friendly fighter on a feature token within one hex of no one's territory. Gain one additional glory point for each other friendly fighter on a feature token within one hex. But I only okay. have one. Yeah. So I only gain one. And then I want to discard uh, Proud Castellan. Scores in the end phase if your leader is on a feature token and my leader is dead. I'm drawing new, yeah. two new cards. Uh, I am keeping all of my... No, I'm gonna have to discard take positions because that's reliant on my leader. And then I'm drawing three new uh, cards here. So we make a roll off again. Yes, we do. Uh, that's not a good one. No, that is that is definitely not a good one. I uh, think you get that to say, is better. but it not, might be that uh, you want the first. It might be that you want me to go second. No, I think you have to go first. I think I have to give it to you. Okay, so I'm gonna start mm -hmm. out, yeah. and how do I do this? So I think I'm gonna make a charge action over here, and then I'm gonna make a signing attack, and I think I'm gonna start play decapitating blow. Play this off during a friendly fight's attack action after the declare attack action step. Then that attack action has cleave. If that attack takes target out of action as a result of a critical hit, uh, then I score one additional glory. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna start with Pointy Burke, his name is. So I'm rolling three dice looking for Fury. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the double crits. <laughs> uh, can I even save? No, he cannot save. Yeah, cannot so that, save. that's an, then you get yeah. three glory points. That is. Uh, no, I only get one. Or two. Don't you get for every. No, only for. Uh, I only get one additional. For if every. I, if I, if I, if I no, if I take it out of action. Alright, alright, so it doesn't stack. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's spent, so I can't really use it. And then I make the siding attack good. against your other guy. Um, looking for double crit. I still crit. get a crit. Uh, this guy only has one defensive. I'm gonna need a crit here. No. Okay. So I'm gonna side him and I'm gonna knock him over here so that he can be next to Sadiedra. Yeah, that's kind of you. And I'm gonna deal two damage. I'm gonna play Final Say. Reaction after the game display that shows us one or more friendly fighters. Give this card one. Give this fighter one charge token and break this card. When you do that, gambit is not resolved. So I'm gonna give it to Thane. So that it, it's like counter spell. Alright, but it needs a target that chooses one or more friendly fighters. Yeah. Alright. But now we are somewhat even. I have seven and you have seven. I'm gonna give extra pointy boots to Snorball. That gives him plus one damage to his range one attack actions. Okay. Um, which I think. I really like the wording. It's useful when you want to make a point. <laughs> yeah. So bad. And I also gonna give him. Despicable Cad, I'm gonna give him uh, uh, this fighter's range one attack actions have cleave in addition fighters supported by this fighter is considered to have one additional supporting fighter. Okay. Uh, and then I am moving over here to make my attack action yep. against Sir Yadran. Uh, rolling three dice. And I get yeah, I can't. Yeah, that's a double yep. damage. Uh, I deal, I'm taking, I deal. Two damage? Two right? damage, Two yeah. Damage. Unless he has... No, he has. And he staggers me. Yeah, he does stagger you, which is which is pretty nice. I'm gonna push you over here. I believe. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to play you ready for anything. Plus one defense to each friendly fighter on feature... On a feature token. Yeah, but I still think that's pretty decent. Okay. Yeah, then I protect one fighter at least. In the next activation step. In the next activation step. And I think the play here is to try and kill, uh, uh, what's his name, Skolkwen Prompt. Yeah. Rolling two dice, looking for half smash. Yeah. Uh, nothing. Nothing. That's pretty good for me, I suppose. How much life does he have left now? Three. Yeah, I'm gonna make a charge action with poor. Poke and snark. Okay. And I'm gonna go over here, right? That has to be the play. Poke and snark, and I am uh, using his uh, squig spear. Squig spear. Uh, that is one success. One success. And he also have uh, 
In addition, find a supporter. No, that doesn't okay. work. But I click cleave. So okay, yeah, okay. cleave. So I need it. Uh, nothing. Uh, you are dealt two damage. Two damage. I need to push me. Could have re rolled one of those. Could have re rolled this one. I'm gonna do that. But nothing happens. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna push you over there. Okay. Then I am going to play makeshift bombardment. Choose one friendly fighter on a feature token. Uh, choose one enemy fighter whispered to, to that friendly fighter. Win three hexes of that friendly fighter. Pick one stagger the chosen enemy or push the chosen enemy one hex away from the chosen friendly fighter. Okay, I'm so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna counterspell. <laughs> counterspell. Yeah. Uh, and I get an additional charge counter. So he has double charged. Yeah. And I'm gonna make a move action over here. Setting up for that siding attack. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, I suppose. And this guy has a charge token as yeah, well. Yeah, um, So I'm gonna, at the, after you play that move, I'm gonna reaction play the the enemy fighter activation. If that fighter is adjacent to one or more feature tokens that are in the same hex as a friendly fighter, deal one damage to that enemy fighter. Okay, so that's one damage. Yeah. So now the question is, you're gonna make a siding attack over there, but I have I have like some time here to to make something happen. But I can move one guy out of the way at least. Uh, so I think I am moving this guy over here, and then I'm gonna shoot against that guy. Okay. Uh, and then I am rolling two dice. Yeah, two dice. Looking for fury. Oh, crit. And double success. Uh, yeah, you hit me. Uh, uh, you're dead. Two damage. Two damage is enough to kill him. Yeah. And since I am too far away, I can't really do anything. You're gonna win this, but I can't stop you from winning it by too much, I think. This guy has a range of one. No, he has a shooting attack as well. Moonface nags uh, range four, range four actually. Yeah. Okay. So I don't think you can get out of, of range for that guy. Yeah, I'm just gonna go over here then, so that I am as far away as I can. Yeah. And then he is. Or do you want to play anything else? Uh, no, I don't have any cards to play. That matters. I make a charge action over there. Yep. And I shoot against him. Uh, with two dice. Two, yeah, two dice, yeah. Uh, with one reroll. Yeah. But that is double success. I'm not uh, that is one, but I am taken out of action. And that yeah. seals the deal. The Seal. goblins take it home. Are you sure? Thank you for a good game. <laughs> Thank you for a good yeah. game. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't. I actually don't have anything else that I can score. Yeah, uh, yeah it I'm was, not sure uh, I was looking for you, but it, no, I don't have anything. Uh, this warband mm -hmm. is really reliant on their leader. Yeah, uh, I tried to build it so that I would be uh, like uh, interested in the objective holding, but you can't hold objectives without fighters. No, I was surprised that you made that uh, charge attack action in, in the beginning with yeah, your leader. But I, I, I decided that I'm gonna be aggressive. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna get my command points in and. Uh, yeah. yeah, the goblins, they hit too hard. And this, yeah. these guys, they, they can deal a lot of damage, but they are so like r randomized uh, in their attacks because they are so crit-reliant and yeah. they don't really deal that much damage if they don't roll the crits. No, I guess, and, guess so. Uh, especially if they don't roll <laughs> anything, then, then you're just... But just... The, the leader, like, that is a high risk, high reward. Even yeah, you, but you... I think, like... I honestly think that if you play this warband too passively, uh, you're just gonna have a really bad time because uh, they, they are an aggressive warband and uh, the, the fighters that they have that are strong is the leader and Sir Yedron. And if you just stay on the back foot with uh, King Morlock, then you're losing out on the second best fighter in the warband. Yeah, I guess so. Losing the leader is such is such a hurtful uh, <laughs> like plight for this warband because they have so many cards that are like locked behind the leader being alive and yeah. you can't do anything without him like you have all the race effects are lost and you lose uh, like two of the supporting uh, cards are reliant yeah. on like using Sir Jedron so that he can 
get up uh, close to the leader and uh, like protect him. But it yeah, but you're, you're, to... you're lose their like supporting roles as well. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like the command, uh, yeah, the command ability. Yeah. Uh, and that is like the primary like thing with this warband. But it does require you to like uh, keep him alive, I guess. Yeah. And I, this guy, he is amazing. The squig, squiggy yeah, uh, like, uh, knight. He, I love him so much. He has the potential to do three damage, and in a goblin warband, that's amazing. Yeah, that's, uh, and uh, he is kind of good at doing it as well. Like uh, that lance has really come through <laughs> in all of our games. <laughs> yeah, he's killed someone uh, yeah. every game, I suppose. Like, and mm. and the goblins, like they have so many fighters. Even if you like kill, I, I killed three. Mm. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, and they still yeah. have four on board. <laughs> Yeah, the, you killed the two most most important ones, yeah. uh, I, I suppose. Or, or the leader is good because he can inspire fighters when I yeah, score and cards. Yeah, really good but, but, defensive roles yeah, as well. But, but on his own, it's not amazing. Like the best two fighters, looking at like stats alone, so the, yeah. these guys are, are amazing. The yeah. shooter. And, yeah, and but, the, but the, the, I think that the leader has uh, fantastic stats as well because yeah. two defensive roles on on the get go is really good. Yeah, that is actually actually really good. Uh, and he's quite important because especially when you're playing Nemesis because then you don't have all the quest cards and then you need to use regular objectives to, to, to inspire your fighters. So when he's dead, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. I can't, <laughs> no, I can't yeah, do anything. And the goblins, they are kind of good at their inspired sides as well. Like they, they get a ton of keywords, like they get cleave, they get those, uh, they always have that uh, gear wrecking ability. Yeah, the gnashing. Not all of them have, but, but a lot of them do. Uh, that that's really good. It's the squid guys that has the, yeah. the Ganesha. Uh, mm. Yeah, but uh, I guess I have to go back to the drawing board with the Sons <laughs> of Wellmorn again. I, I really hope that they release like some good card for them in an upcoming arrival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, thank you for a good game. Yeah. Thank you all for, for watching. It was fun playing some Underworlds again. Yeah, yeah we will be back with plenty of more Underworlds games this season. I think... Uh, Nullwood, like the previous ones, it's uh, looking good actually, yeah. and uh, yeah, like there's a lot of hype for the game right now. Lots yeah. of tournaments I've seen. Yeah, I think people are starting playing quite quite a lot, and the, the game seems to be in a good place. And I think yeah. the the Nemesis format has has um, like improved. In, yeah, like revitalized the game. Like I see a lot of more people picking up the game from the get go as well. And they ask, how do I get started with drivers? And from just one forum post to one video, they are up and running with it. Yeah. So it, it's not that hard to like just understand the idea of mix, mixing two piles together and then you yeah. have a deck to play. Us whales have uh, taken a hit <laughs> this season yeah. since we cannot use our supreme card pool to rule rule the yeah. games. <laughs> to our advantage. <laughs> yeah. Our wallet to our advantage, yeah, yeah. yeah. I suppose. But uh, that is all for tonight. We see yeah. you all next time.